What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the MJX X708W, also called the Cyclone. Uh, this is a pretty cool looking quadcopter guys. At first I thought it was the MJX Bugs B2. Uh, it is a smaller version of it with brushed motors on this one. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. There's some of the functions here like headless mode, uh, one key return, and they also give you a little diagram of what all of the functions on the remote uh, control does. So that is fantastic. So let's go ahead and open up this box and check this baby out. All right, I got the quadcopter and all of the contents out of the box and it is looking fantastic, guys. This is one nice looking quadcopter, I have to say. I really like how the Bugs B2 looks like and this one is just a smaller version, just about, with of course the brushed motors and the geared style motors and the props. Got some uh, landing pods right at the bottom of the motor pod, little rubberized landing pods, so you can stick that landing. Uh, it's got a Wi-Fi FPV camera on this one. This one also comes with a camera less version as well. So this one, however, is a 0 0.3 megapixel uh, Wi-Fi FPV camera. So that is fantastic. So you can download the Wi-Fi phone app. And this one has the old phone app that uh, the MJX X600 and such other quadcopters used. It is the MJX H app and it is a pretty nice phone app and it's got all kinds of different types of controllers on the phone app itself so that is really nice uh, here is the led lights on the bottom there's some blue ones in the front and some red ones in the back i don't see any on and off switches anywhere so this one does not have an on and off switch it has a battery bay door right on the back and it flaps open uh, very high quality uh, plastic pretty nice and it is a lousy connector the standard lousy connector yay so that is just fantastic and the battery that that comes with is this one here and it is a 550 milliamp 3.7 volt 20c battery which i have clones of well mines are all about 600 milliamp but my 600 milliamp ones will fit in this quadcopter so thank you very much mjx for using such a standard battery unlike some of the other quadcopters that are starting to come out with proprietary batteries which suck okay so this one here has headless mode one key return it also does flips and i believe it has two speed modes and the control distance on this thing is about 50 to 100 meters okay so when they give you a number like 50 to 100 meters go with a smaller number to be on the safe side so i'm going to stay within about the 50 meter range okay on this one when we do the flight test but let's take a look at the remote control here the remote controller however is the bugs style remote controller that we have come to uh familiarize ourselves with like the bugs three the bugs two the bugs six and the bugs eight so we are familiar with it these here are all trim buttons on this one here okay on and off switch here the throttle and the pitch this one does not have altitude hold as you can see it just goes up and stays up and stays down when i pull it down there's a couple of buttons on the left and a couple of buttons on the right one of these buttons are non-marked button this one here has no functions this one here is the flip button uh, this one right here is the speed changing button is speed one and two i believe and this button here uh you can i believe you can turn the lights on and off the led lights on and off by short pressing it and if you long press it it'll take you into the headless mode and while you are in the headless mode if you press it again it is the one key return I believe that's how it works with the MJX. To calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter, both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyros of the Cyclone quadcopter. And inside of the box, uh, you also get these prop guards. Uh, comes with the screws. There's a little hole for it. So you can go ahead and snap it in there and screw it on if you want to 
have prop guards on there. Uh, Wi-Fi FPV uh, phone holder with the little familiar clip ball and socket joint clip. You can stick it on your remote control and put your phone on there. Also comes with a charge cable and a screwdriver in this goodie bag here. And another goodie bag here contains uh, four extra props and some screws to go with it and they also give you this nice instruction manual as well so let's go and take a little demonstration flight with the MJX X708W the Cyclone all right guys we are just about ready to go I got my phone out I got the MJX H uh, app ready to go so we're going to go ahead and plug this baby in there's no on and off switch on this one so we are going to plug it in and i'm kind of in the shade because it's really really hot right now so plugging this baby in and as you can see the lights are uh, flashing so let me get this battery in there in the battery bay Oop, giving me a little hard time with the battery installation here just enough room to shove this thing in so I'm gonna shove it in first and that's causing a problem there so okay so just like so and come on it is a very tight fit guys okay it goes in this way and I am able to push it in somewhat okay I think that's about it okay okay it is flashing so it is ready to go turning this baby on and up and down now the light is solid as we know it it should work nice okay so i'm going to my phone now and we are going to set up the wi-fi fpv so we're going to go into the wi-fi network let me make the screen brighter. Oh my God, it is the brightest. MJXH Wi-Fi network connecting to it. And security recommendation. And we are connected. Starting up the app. And there we go, guys. That is the interface. MJXRC. It gives you the monitor or the control. We're going to go into the monitor for now. So we're going to hit the monitor. And we got... Yeah, we got Wi-Fi FPV, guys. So we can take a photo right now. And no noise. Do I have my mute on again? Okay, I'm getting all kinds of... No, no noise. It just gives you a page flip. Okay, so that is the photo button. And that is the video button. So let's go ahead and take some photos. Now we're out here on the desert. Let's take a photo of the building there. Let's take a photo of the mountains there. And let's take a photo of the car. Yeah, got my tent set up because it's very hot today. And let me get the horizon straight. Take a photo of the homes. Take a photo of the right, right side there. And put it back on the table. And take another photo for good luck. Okay. So I don't have my Wi-Fi FPV clamp set up. So let me go ahead and set that up real quick. Okay, guys, I got my little uh, Wi-Fi phone holder here. So all you do is just put that ball and socket joint in place. And I believe you just slide this baby in and it clicks into place and it holds it really nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my phone. Oops, hit the throttle put my phone in the clamp right here and yep it's doing fantastic nice all right so we're gonna hit that video button and it has turned red and there's some kind of counter going on right here so let's go ahead and take off and check this baby out speed changing button here light is here so let me 
Let's see if I can turn the light off. There you go. Turn the light off. That is fantastic. Awesome. That is the flip button over here. Okay, starting with speed number one first. Let's go and take off. Awesome. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice hover, slight breeze taking it back, very smooth flying, it's a smooth one and does not have altitude hold, so there's no jerky movements after the turn, look at that, absolutely fantastic, oh wow. Very nice, guys. Okay, flip. Back flip. Right flip. Awesome. I switched the speed number two to bring it back and a lot more controllability here. Right side flip. Nice flips, man. Okay, got to hold the button down to do the flips. Remember that. All right, I think it has a slight left drift after I've been doing some flips. So I'm going to bring it in, land this baby right here, and I'm going to do the calibration. Both sticks to the bottom and out, I believe. Yeah, the light is flashing and it stopped. Okay, so let's take off again. Slight drift to the right, I mean to the left. And I guess the wind is blowing that way, so... And it's coming back towards me too. So let's do some manual trims to get this baby to hover more steady. Okay, now it's doing pretty good. All right. We are in speed number two, and it does fantastic flips. Nice on the fly flip, sort of. Nice. Yep, on the fly back flip. Hey, this is a nice flyer, guys. Hey, hey, hey! We got ourselves a winner right here. Nice! Okay, let's check out the headless mode now. Long pressing. Okay. We are in headless. And I'm pushing it forward, I'm pulling it back towards me, pushing it forward, and nice. Look at that. Headless mode works perfect. Okay, so within the headless mode, if I press it again, it is a one key return. As you can see, redirect it, and I'm out of the one key return. But I believe I am still in the headless mode. Yep, still in the headless mode. So I'm going to go ahead and long press this button now. Okay, that means we are out of the headless mode. So the headless mode one key return combination works fantastic. And the light turning on and off too. It is a battery saver, so that is fantastic. And it is doing awesome. Look at that. It is a fantastic flyer. Absolutely. And we have Wi-Fi FPV, guys. So let me come in the shade here and check out the Wi-Fi FPV here. No altitude hold, so you have to manage your altitude. Oh, did I almost hit the ground? Yep, I think so. OK, 
Okay, I'm kind of going and I don't see any landmarks. Oh, it's way over there. <laughs> I didn't even know it was that far up. Okay, so it's very hard to determine the, uh, the height because of the altitude hold. It does not have one. So here I am. I'm going to push it out. Okay, let me step out a little bit so I can check out the quadcopter 2 at the same time. And let me go ahead and turn around here. And I'm pretty high up, I can tell. Okay. So the Wi-Fi distance is uh, limited here. And it looks like it's around 50 meters. Okay, I'm pushing it out right around there. I still got uh, video. I still got video. I'm turning around. And I'm finally seeing myself here. Okay, I'm trying to zigzag my way. So I can get myself in the shot, going over the car, going the other side, turning around. Okay, going away from me, in front of me. So it should be right there. Yep. And then I'm going to turn around and try to get myself in the shot here. There we go. All right. Going right over me, passing by me, towards my right. Turning around one more time. And don't hit the ground. We don't have altitude hold. There I am one more time. Hey, this thing is working nice. You can FPV with this thing as long as you don't go too far. Ooh, I think I hit the ground. Almost hit the ground. Maybe I did <laughs> it came back up. Man, I'm bashing this quadcopter on my first run. Yep, Wi-Fi FPV works fantastic. It's making some kind of noise. Yeah, I must have hit the ground and got some dirt in the props, as you can hear. All right, brought it back. I'm going to hit that record button to turn it off. Hey, pretty fantastic. I was able to fly FPV, and it did not have that much breakup. So it is a fantastic FPV quadcopter as well. And I'm pretty sure it has a virtual uh, split screen, I'm assuming. Hopefully it does then you could even yep it has the split screen as well so you can probably use the goggles the virtual reality goggles to do some fpv with this one as well so that is really nice okay let me get out of that all right so that is the initial uh demonstration of the mjx x 708w the cyclone all right we still got battery power on this thing so let's go ahead and take off again so it sounds like something is inside of this one here. And uh, it's kind of hard to remove the cover. You have to remove the whole bottom plate and the top canopy in order to get to the gears, guys. So it's not going to be an easy fix. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off. And hopefully it kind of removes itself. That is one thing bad because geared motors, once you get a little bit speck of dirt in there, the tiniest speck of dirt, it will do that to you, makes that noise. And that is hindering the performance. So you're gonna have to open it up and clean them gears. And sometimes a toothbrush, an old toothbrush will work. Um, I found out even though you scrub it with the toothbrush, sometimes there's a small tiny speck of dirt uh, in the grooves of the gears and you need like a needle to kind of pick that out you know and then once you get that small little speck of dirt out yeah it makes a night and day difference the sound disappears so keep that in mind when your quadcopter has uh, run into some dirt or whatnot and you feel like uh, there might be something stuck in the gears and it's making that little noise like mine is. You hear that noise? Yeah, that little clicking noise. Yeah, that's a sign of uh, some kind of dirt stuck in the motors or the gears that is. So, well, let's uh, run it until the light starts to blink to indicate that it's an LVC warning to find out the flying time of the MJX Cyclone. So far it is very impressive. 
it is with the 550 milliamp battery guys and I've done flown this thing for some time already and no indication that the battery is on the low well now it is I am throttling up all the way and it is not really climbing so it is slightly on the sluggish side but the light is not flashing yet even though I have the lights turned off when it's in LVC the lights should start to blink Wow very nice quad MJX is doing a fantastic job yeah it's starting to go down in altitude when I pitch forward like that I have to really um, put the throttle up all the way and there you go throttle is all the way up it's a fantastic flyer very controllable makes nice banking turns okay that is the funnels for you let's even out the motor wear Okay, now it's just coming down in altitude I have to stop and it can go back up so the batteries are starting to become a little bit drained out and yep I see the lights are flashing now hopefully you can see the lights are flashing there you go that is the LVC warning lights guys and it's coming down Woo, almost hit me <laughs> all right so that is the flight time of the mjx x 708w the cyclone all right we got the mjx cyclone here once again i tried to hook it up to the wi-fi phone app and try to take off with it uh, for some reason it will not work with my iphone i tried it with my ipad as well and that will not work as well but I do get Wi-Fi FPV on my phone as well as the iPad. So what I'm going to do is I got my VR goggles right here. So I'm going to hit that 3D uh, functionality on the uh, Wi-Fi phone app. I'm going to do some little Wi-Fi FPV with the VR goggles. So let's go. All right, here we go. And I'm quickly finding out that this is not going to be an easy task. The Wi-Fi FPV feed has a little bit of latency or delay, even you can call it. And here I safely managed to get myself uh, away from the pavilion and I'm out in the field, but it is still really, really bad, guys. Uh, the latency is pretty bad. So you are not quite where you are. And at times uh, it does freeze on you. So got to be careful and here uh, I'm slowly starting to get a hang of it thinking that I can finally get my uh, throttle adjusted here to where the Wi-Fi FPV is kind of uh, being a little delay I'm catching up to it now but as you can see there's cutoffs and breakups and I am unable to control it and I land so here I am deciding that I'm going to get away from all of the trees out into the open area and try this one more time and give it a second time. And uh, it is a lot better over here, even though uh, you do have latency, you are out in the open, so you don't have to worry about banging into trees and getting caught up in the trees and stuff like that. Um, so it is a little bit better. So I'm finding out you can do a little bit of FPV here. As you can see, I'm controlling the quadcopter a lot better, uh, the altitude anyways, and uh, I'm trying to uh, turn around and try to get myself in the shot, but it is a difficult task. And there I am, I am in the shot uh, momentarily. Uh, I kind of am able to get myself in the shot, but I pass over myself. So I turn around, uh, heading towards the opposite way. I'm gonna. Uh, go ahead and make another U-turn a little bit more further down the line here. Uh, there's still a lot of bit of delay or latency that is not good for uh, FPV with goggles. And uh, your lifeline is your goggles, whatever you are seeing in the FPV feed. And there I am frozen in time and uh, I gain my uh, video feedback uh, right on top of myself there. 
So guys, uh, you are able to FPV with this quadcopter's Wi-Fi FPV, but not in a um, 3D uh, virtual reality goggle type uh, as I'm trying out right here. Um, it is better to do it with a monitor uh, or your phone on the phone clip on top of your uh, transmitter. That way you are able to do a little bit of line of sight flying at the same time you are FPVing. So I decided to land over here and give it up and there you go, I shrugged my shoulders. All right guys, we got the MJX X708W here, the Cyclone. What I got is a all-in-one VTX mounted on the top. And guess what? Yep, we are gonna go and do a little bit of FPV flight with the head play goggles and to check this baby out. So let's go. All right, here we go for the second FPV flight. And oh yeah, what a difference. Uh, a VTX can make. Uh, there, you got it, guys. Uh, 5.8 gigahertz VTX versus Wi-Fi FPV. No match at all. This 5.8 gigahertz uh, VTX FPV is real time up to the second FPV. So you know exactly where you're going and you are able to control the quadcopter uh, very precisely. So wow, what a difference. And you know, this quadcopter is a terrific quadcopter for FPVing with a VTX on top. Uh, it is so accurate. And even though it doesn't have altitude hold, it is just a fantastic flyer. You need to do a little bit of throttle control, of course, management. And uh, it is just great because you are learning how to uh, throttle management. There, I tried to do a flip, but I failed. I forgot which button to press. I think I pressed the wrong button. Anyway, I decided to go and continue just flying about, and I'm just enjoying the fact that I am able to FPV and uh, control the quadcopter uh, with real-time control here. Uh, even these little hairpin turns are very accurate with this quadcopter and up to the second, and there it's just absolutely fantastic. And what a beautiful day it is. There's no wind right now, just very little. So uh, the wind is not a factor over here at all. And uh, no one's around again. Uh, I'm here all by myself. Uh, nobody's here. I'm here early in the morning. Uh, there used to be some people here early in the morning, but not today. Uh, I believe the weather is too hot already for a day out in the park. Maybe some other day, uh, there'll be more uh, fishermen fishing in that lake. And today is not the day. Uh, there is a time of the week when they fill up the reservoir with fish. And the day after that, that's when all the fishermen come out. So those are the days to avoid. And uh, this is the day, a uh, couple of days before. Oh, I hit my uh, Tyrannus uh, transmitter case and I land on the ground inside the pavilion. And luckily, uh, this quadcopter, the MJX uh, X708W, has uh, landing pods right underneath of the motor pod. So it is a stable landing. It didn't flip over. All right, so I'm going to continue with the uh, FPV flight. Uh, I'm going to turn on some music now. So uh, enjoy the rest of the FPV flight with the all in one VTX. So. Have a great day uh, and we'll see you again next time.